Hey everybody, back again, uh, next in the line of the X1 products. So if you saw my last video, I just uh, released the, uh, did a quick unboxing of the X1 Carbon. So this is another one in the line of the X1 products. Uh, this is the X1 Yoga. So obviously the Carbon is traditional clamshell, only opens up, you know, kind of as a typical notebook. The X1 Yoga is going to have the advantage of flipping all the way around, turning into the tablet, um, and that's what we're going to cover today. So, without further ado, let's uh, take a look at this. Uh, I don't know if I introduce myself. Again, it's Thomas Vanderkin, Global Account Manager here for Lenovo, uh, unboxing the X1 Yoga. So, let's pop this open. Traditional uh, Lenovo packaging, uh, very uh, simplistic, light, economical, and uh, friendly for um, environment. You'll see why. We use uh, brown packaging without the extra dyes and stuff required in the... Uh, white packaging. So, here we go. Open this up. Uh, interesting, um, for those of you who have watched a bunch of these, usually the product uh, is in the other direction and the green sleeves are on the side. I don't know, just one thing I'm noticing here, uh, that this one actually goes in um, top down instead of on the sides. So no big deal, I guess it's a preference or I don't know why I would chose that, but here we go. So this is the uh, typical packaging we use just to keep it safe during shipment. I'll pop this out. Uh, with the plastic. Let's see. Okay, yeah, Windows 10, of course. All of the new uh, KB Lake R processors, of course, only support Windows uh, 10. So this is it. This has got my customer sticker on it, so you can ignore that. But... Um, the X1 logo, of course, is more prominent this year. But let's just spend a second talking about KB Lake, KB Lake R, and Skylake. So, for those of you who are um, following the industry, uh, Skylake is the last generation processor that Intel made that supports the uh, Windows 7. So, some of customers, a lot of them, are still on Windows 7 and require it for some of their applications. Quickly moving to Windows 10, everybody knows it's required. But obviously getting those applications moved over takes time. So uh, last year, the Windows 20, the uh, 2017 products was KB Lake. Uh, that did not support uh, Windows 7. So KB Lake was only Windows 10. Uh, so we still have some products then that was on Skylake. Uh, this is the KB Lake refresh. So a big change from Intel this year is the KB Lake refresh uh, has four cores even on their U label processor. So our traditional uh, processor in our thin and light notebooks, historically, uh, since um, they, we started releasing them 10 or so years ago, has always been two core. If you wanted to get a true quad core processor, uh, you had to go up to the next uh, the next uh, level of processors and a bigger, much bigger machine. Well, the great news is this year, quad-core processors on the KB Lake R. So that's what you're gonna get this year in this, uh, all of our 2018 Thin and Light products. So this is the Yoga uh, with the KB Lake R. Uh, big advantage or distinguishing feature of the Yoga is obviously is the hinge. So right away when you open it up, you see the hinge, but you can go this far as like a traditional book, you can keep cranking it all the way back around and then you're in tablet mode. That's the huge selling point of the yoga line. One thing that we do that's really exciting is that our yogas, the keys, uh, recess. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but they're completely flat. So if you're using it on a cable, you're not, it's not bouncy like a lot of our um, competitors' products might be. And also in your lap, you know, it's completely recessed so you're not pushing these buttons on the back. Uh, it's very hard to see, but as I open the product, uh, the keys, as I open the lid, sorry, the keys start to pop out. There you can see them, and the tray pops up, and then when you're in laptop mode, the keys are uh, fully functional. Um, I will uh, power this on just so we can watch that happen while I talk a little bit more about the product. Of course, I'm finally starting to figure this out. I need to... For the first time, we power our laptops up. Even though they're charged, they still have to be plugged in um, for shipping requirements. Oh, we also have another dongle in here. Okay, so this one ships with the uh, Ethernet dongle in the in the packaging, which is great. Interesting that the carbon did not ship with that. So it's a true um, 
So it's not a, it's not a, like a USB Ethernet as you get uh, on your standard if you were just to go out and buy USB Ethernet. This is actually a true Ethernet uh, on board, but this, so this just brings the port to full size. So um, where does that go? The ports are on this side for this one. So looks like it's right here. There's a little Ethernet icon, so we're going to plug that in there. Ethernet picture up, so it plugged in. So this is true Ethernet. The reason that's important rather than USB Ethernet is because now the MAC address from the machine is in this dongle. So if you're doing um, <clears throat> autopilot or some other new technologies or wake on LAN, you're going to see the MAC address for the uh, hardware itself, the laptop itself, rather than a MAC address in a USB dongle. So this is critical. Uh, reason why you want to use this type of uh, Lenovo dongle that ships with the product rather than a USB Ethernet. So let's continue to boot this uh, system up, the X1 Yoga. We'll unwrap this. Um, okay. We'll take off a little plastic safety cover. Put this in here. Remove the uh, Velcro. It comes out of the dongle. Get this plugged in. Obviously, USB C this year, all of our products. This one's labeled with a little power next to it. There's a couple USB C's, so you obviously want to use the one that has the power on it. Uh, then, once that's in, uh, power button, because it's a tablet, isn't on top, it's on the side. So, if you're in tablet mode, you can still power it on. It doesn't get covered. So, we'll push the power button here. A little light on the power button. We'll see if we get a little splash screen. There we go. So we're booting up. Uh, let's take a quick look at the ports. I know everybody likes to see that. I'll take this Ethernet off. So power button here. Obviously a huge advantage here is we have a pen. So as we go into touch mode, because it's a tablet, the pen is here and it stores right in the um, inside the laptop. It's got a charger here, so it takes, I think it's a capacitive charging. 10 seconds or so it charges the pen if you need to ever, whenever you need to charge it, and then it lasts uh, for a couple hours. So we got the pen, power, uh, headphones, the Ethernet that we already covered, a USB-C, and then a full-size HDMI. I mentioned this in the last video, but no more um, uh, display port, mini display port. Uh, we've got the full-size uh, HDMI. But then we also have on this side uh, USB-C, another USB-C. The amazing thing about USB-C is you can use that for a variety of different uh, dongles, which uh, I'll cover in a separate video. And then another um, super speed uh, uh, USB port, which is uh, powered even when the machine's off. So you can set that to charge your devices uh, even when the machine's uh, powered off. Um, I think, let me check my notes here just to make sure I'm covering all the hot topics that I wanted to cover. So, uh, 450 nit gamut screen that's super bright. Uh, obviously, for a tablet, uh, it's a great, uh, a good brightness you're going to want to have. Uh, the rise and fall keyboard I mentioned, the onboard rechargeable pen, far field microphones, Skype enabled, so you're going to um, definitely going to be a great solution for conference calls. Um, think shutter. This one has the physical uh, switch on top, brand new this year. Uh, so you can actually close the camera with a physical switch. A lot of people like that. Uh, LTE, of course, the enhanced speakers, and then the new. Um, Logo branding they wanted that um, uh, we've been talking about a lot right here on the top, so everybody can see that you've got uh, our executive class uh, notebook, uh, and very thin and light. So the carbon uh, X1 carbon version of this, this one has a Gorilla gra Glass screen, uh, which is great for a tablet, but also makes it a little bit heavier. Um, so it's going to be pushing about three pounds. If you want the thinnest, lightest solution we have, that's the carbon uh, with just the matte screen. Uh, it's going to be um, about a half a pound lighter. So I think that's it. That's all the topics I want to cover today. Thank you for joining and watching, and we'll see you next time. See you, everybody.